hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is the part 4 video on react js authentication with jwt access token and refresh token okay so previously we have implemented consuming the secured endpoint with the help of passing our access token as a authorization header value okay but access token is a short lived means it will expire okay so at the time with the help of refresh token we can regenerate our access token okay so for regenerating the access token so this is the endpoint okay my refresh token endpoint and we have to pass our expired access token and refresh token as a payload okay here i am expecting expired access token also in the payload in some api implementation they no need the access token they simply depend upon the refresh token itself so it is just way the api is designed okay here i design in such a way i require both expired access token and refresh token okay and it's going to give new access token and new refresh token as a response okay so first uh, let's log into our application so before logging to application let me make my access token expire less than 30 seconds so that we can understand how to implement uh, this refresh token api key for that go to our api project okay in that go for auth module.ts file here you can see expiration 1800 seconds that means 30 minutes okay i will change it to 30 seconds okay so within 30 seconds my access token will be expired so let me stop the application okay and rerun my server application okay so my server application is up and running now if i go to my application and if i try to log in okay and if i go to my favorite movies okay and network call so if i wait for 30 second and refresh see after 30 seconds you can see here 401 unauthorized but in the authorization we have access token that means my token is expired that means invalid so in this case how we have to handle it okay so for that we have to use the our refresh token endpoint so how we can handle means we can use the interceptor previously we have implemented our uh, interceptor right for configuring the uh, jwt access token same way we can check for expiration of the token also okay so for that what i will do i will extend this interceptor to invoke refresh token api automatically whenever request fail with with an error of 401 that is unauthorized so here i will extend like jwt interceptor dot interceptors previously i intercepted request right now i will intercept the response okay so response dot use okay so in the first method if the response is normal response okay in that case i will simply return that response means no interruption flow will be normal okay any api call successful response then i want to flow go the flow normally so i simply return the response if an error occurs okay okay here i can write like i think if an error occurs okay first what i will do i will check whether the error is happened due to unauthorization or not for that i can check like error dot response dot status code i will check okay equal will equal to 401 that means unauthorized okay exception happened because of unauthorized access okay then i will implement my logic okay so what i need i need expired token and refresh token as a payload right so let's first generate the payload so let payload okay copy the property names here
access token and the refresh token okay so here i want the access token and refresh token we know how to get the token data right so copy this line and get the token data so here i can use token data dot access token same property names okay token data dot to refresh token okay so i prepared my a payload request payload now i have to invoke the api call so to invoke the api call what i will do so let api response equal to await here i will use axios okay don't use interceptor if you use this instance it will go to infinite loop okay so directly use axios here for calling the uh, our refresh token endpoint since it is a post request so let me copy the endpoint from here okay and change the port number to 4000 and send the payload okay if that api is successful then what we have to do then first reset our local storage again okay with the new api data that is nothing but new refresh token and access token we will get as a response right so tokens and api response data dot data okay i'm updating the local storage with the new access token and refresh token then what i have to do what is the actual api failed due to 401 we have to re-invoke it okay for that what i can do error dot so this will contain the old request failed configuration right so config dot headers okay so here i can pass authorization okay okay and as in the new access token we are getting here okay so same way copy the string okay now it should be api response dot data dot access token okay then finally invoke the api call again by passing the configuration to the axios instance okay pass the error instance okay i should json dot string to fire right my new api data okay okay here my axios not returning fully so in the else case after if here in the else if any other error occurs i simply need to return a promise of rejection okay dot reset and pass the error simply i should pass config not errors okay and now see three api calls are automatically invoked after refreshing the page see first favorite movies is invoked it has authorization header but it is expired right so immediately, immediately refresh token is invoked. How it invoked means in the first call request, if we are intercepting the response, see, in the API call request, we are intercepting in the response. When our response comes, if it is a normal response, nothing will happen. If error occurs, then it will execute this method. So if it is 401, yes, it is a 401 error. Here you can see unauthorized status code. So here what we are doing, we are immediately invoking the, here we are immediately invoking the refresh token endpoint. So once the response data is coming back, what we are triggering, we are again re-invoking the 
failed request with the new access token so this is see this is the request reinitiated automatically okay see like this whenever any api call fails immediately refresh token gets invoked and then immediately failed api call gets invoked okay like this this interceptor helps us to invoke automatically okay we no need to do nothing we just use this interceptor jwt interceptor for invoking the call like this like this instead of directly calling axios dot get you can use jwt interceptor dot get jwt interceptor dot post so every secured endpoint can be consumed using this jwt interceptor okay so that's all how we can refresh our jwt access token okay next we are going to uh, implement how we can protect the routes okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to my channel to support me even more please do like video and share the video soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off thank you